What's up guys, it's your boy that kid back in another video. And today I'm going to be going over my review of Avatar The Way of the Water. The latest installment of the Avatar franchise, this film promised to take us to a thrilling journey at the world of Pandora. It introduces us to new characters and cultures, but does it deliver its promise? Let's find out. I, wait, is it swoosh that way or is it that way? Let's just let's just I'm gonna just point that way. We just talk about how <coughs> the original Avatar came out, um, and this Avatar came out in 2022, and uh, that's a very long time, right? Okay, so we just talk about how Puss in Boots is doing more numbers than that. I'm sorry, I take that back, not more numbers. I mean the ratings. Puss in Boots has better ratings than Avatar. Um, that speaks volumes. But, um, Avatar The Way of the Water follows Jake Sully and his wife, Nietzsche Notcher, or whatever, I don't know her name, as they struggle to protect the ocean of Pandora from a group of humans who want to exploit their natural resources. <coughs> Well, I mean, I don't mind you, this is a spoiler alert, but along the way they encounter a new tribe of the Nava who are struggling to adapt. They, the, um, Jake Sully and his wife and kids, struggling to adapt to the changing world around them. As Jake and his wife work to unite the two tribes and stop the humans from destroying Pandora's ocean, they must confront their own personal struggles and challenges of leadership. Basically, you know, Jake and his wife, they were the leader of their tribe. Now they have to <clears throat> become a common person. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, they they said, you know, my tribe, y'all get a new leader. The bad guys are after us, so we're just going to leave. So they don't have to attack y'all. They're just going to chase us down. So they go into a new tribe, and, you know, they're not the leader because that tribe already has a leader. In fact, now they're common people. And, in fact, <clears throat> in the movie, it shows that they're actually like low-key useless <laughs> because everyone there that everyone in the new tribe that they went to have like stronger tails gills you know stuff like that so that they can actually like fish their their land their their home everything is in the water and jake and them are forest people so they have to adapt like a lot it's the main plot honestly uh pros one of the biggest strengths in the avatar the way of the water is that it's stunning visual effect the world of pandora is brought to life in breathtaking details with beautiful landscapes creatures and cultural customs that were a joy to behold Whew. the acting is also top-notch with strong performances with sam zoe and the rest of the cast. Not gonna lie, the, the acting was a 10-10. And you know, for them to keep the same characters as were as they were in Avatar 1, that's amazing. But the fact that they're already talking about Avatar 3 and 4, eh, is that money grab for me? Cons, um, while the Avatar The Way of the Water has a lot going for it, it does have some weaknesses. The plot can be a bit predictable at times, and some subplots feel a bit rushed and underdeveloped. Additionally, the film's theme and culture unity can feel a bit heavy-handed at times. Not gonna lie, um, there's way more cons than that, okay? But, um, I'm just going over the, uh, basics, okay, you know? not trying to give you too much details too much spoilers but um i'm gonna do a big spoiler and all right the guy is the same plot as the first movie right it's the same plot the guy's trying to kill jake the guy and jake fights in the first movie jake wins in the second movie no surprise jake wins but this time the guy doesn't die 
And here's why I'm thinking he doesn't die. The first time he dies, the second time he comes back as an Avatar clone because he has his memories or whatever. And he doesn't die in this one because not only are they already making three and four, but if he just pops up in these movies, you know why. Because he died, but yet his son came and saved him from the water after they fought, which he lost again. Like, taking two L's and two in a row is crazy. Took an L in Avatar 1, took an L in Avatar 2. Bro, it's just time to pack it up, bro. <laughs> You're not winning. In Avatar 1, he was a human, he took an L. Avatar 2, he actually was an Avatar, so there was on an even playing field. And he still lost. Like, it's time to just, it's time to stop trying to chase Jake, bro. Time to go chase some, you know, some females. Because this is crazy to me. You chasing a man who's already got a family and kids, and he still managed to clap your cheeks. I mean, yeah, he did take one of Jake's son's life, but that's it, that's all. This man still took an L, got clapped. Because here's the thing, Jake can just make another son, really. He has a wife. Well, this guy he just keeps taking L's back to back. And not only that, to, to put salt on the wound, when his son poured him out the water, he was like, yo, son, come with me. Let's run away together. And his son was like, nah, dad, peace out. You're lame as heck, bro. You lost to Jake twice in a row, bro. Nah, me personally, I would not stand for that. What was what you talking about, cons? And I just started talking about the plot. I am so sorry. Let me just, nah, I'm sorry. Overall, Avatar The Way of the Water is a solid addition to the Avatar franchise. While it may not reach the heights of the original film, which I've said, it offers an engaging story and beautiful visuals. That is my review of Avatar The Way of the Water. Um, Star-wise, I'll give it a 3.5. Um, out of 10, I definitely would give it a 4. I mean a 7, my bad. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, that's all. I mean, me personally, now I'm just going to put my personal opinion into this. This has nothing to do with the review. Me personally, I just feel it was low-key a money grab. You feel me? The Avatar 1, cool. We got it. We actually have a plot. Understandable Avatar 2. It's just copy and paste. And the fact that the same villain is the same villain in both movies, who was alive at the end of the second movie, it just sounds like he's going to be the villain in 3 and 4, and it's just going to be a cycle and repeat. In fact, actually, I'm going I'm to predict this now, right? In 1, he lost. In 2, he lost. 3, they'll give him a dub, right? They'll kill either, like, Jake or his wife. And then 4 is, like, the final battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever survived Jake's or his wife goes in for the final kill, and just, it's crazy. I'm predicting that in three, his son actually goes back to him, so then they do a backstabbing scene or something like that. These are just predictions, you know. This is not all set in stone, I'm just saying. One and two have the same villains. Three is probably going to have the same villain, and most likely four. So, that's my honest opinion and honest review. Peace out, Scooby-Doo.